Generic greetings and welcome back to production line once again. So in the previous episode, good grief, the zoom is harsh in this game. It's not, it's not exactly some nice smooth supreme commander zoom, that's for sure. Anyway, in the previous episode, we started making cars. Our generic vehicular solution systems are rolling off the line quite nicely. We have our sedan, which is apparently the colour of a lemon, otherwise known as lemon. And we've got a compact car here, which apparently has only got the undercoat. Uh, and then this blue one here, and we're also making an SUV which is currently getting its roof put on. Excellent. And also, pop up on the uh, bottom right here, pop up. Rival company has researched something that I didn't quite catch. Now what that means is in technology we can see what they've done. Ah! Security features keyless entry. So one one car symbol in this technology tree means that at least one other company has researched it. So it's still very rare. If you get three cars, it means that a lot of companies have researched it. If you've got the car with the infinity symbol above it, it's ubiquitous. It's it's commonplace. In fact, everybody's got it. Um, it's a universal technology. Even if you haven't got it, I believe it's classed as a universal technology because it's just commonplace. But it means now that other companies have started to research things, which is worrying because the whole point in this playthrough is we're trying to make a car that has got... Not everything, but is very, very ahead of the curve. So let's go for upgrades. Let's now put in Bluetooth phone support. But we've only just got radios, to be quite honest with you. So if I'm honest, Bluetooth phone support, I don't know when we're building this, but uh, if we've just got that in only just after radios, either we are very, very crap as a car company, or probably it means we're in the 70s. So we'll have them massive brick Motorola phones, which actually, didn't they actually come out in the 80s? I really can't remember. Oh, we'll have really big in car phones. That's what it means. Anyway, um, in terms of building, we are not going to build any more around here just yet. We're waiting for our research. What we need to do is build another line. So we're going to build a sedan, but we'll have it very, very advanced. Ah, here's our, no here's our new car, and this is the generic Model C Plus, and you can now see it's got in-car music, which is very rare still, and a Bluetooth phone support, which is very rare as well. So that's fine, and that adds a little bit of a premium on it. It's called the Model C Plus, and we are not going to rename that. It's going to stay as is, and there you go. So it's just a slightly better car. That's all it's going to be. Um, that's our generic Model B, which is still waiting on the lot. Um, that is our showroom. In terms of car designs, we've got these two here. Our SUV, our first SUV, will be running offline. Oh, now, in fact, there you go. So that is our our car. A uh, nice-looking thing, I guess. Uh, apart from the spoiler. <laughs> it's supposed to look like a, a Land Rover, a Range Rover, isn't it? Uh, sort of S maybe an X5 as well. It, yeah, other well, generic models of car are all available. Um, speaking of generic models of car, uh, generic um, model SUV. Um, it's going to be a plus, really, isn't it? Do we put a space in between them or not? Uh, no, we don't. And there we go. Increase our premium, perhaps, and there we go. It's out the door. Uh, can we alter the premium? We can alter the premium. So I'm going to alter the pre. I'm going to give it a twenty percent premium for our entire our, our entire models of all our, all of our uh, all of our outputs. So we got three cars now. We got the Model B, basic. 20% premium. Generic Model C, which is was the compact, but it's a plus model because it's got the other stuff there, and it's 20%. And the generic model SUV plus, so there wasn't even an SUV. So you wouldn't really class that as a plus. But what is? Who knows? I don't. And I've got one at the end of my YouTube channel, so hey ho. Right, so what are we doing? Let's go for... We could go for... Uh, mid axle, front axle, drive shaft. Um, We need to really focus on... I guess the breakdown of the technology. Um, do you want to go for more research? I think more research is the way forward. So facilities, research office, and we'll place a research office. Um, we'll place them along here. One, two, three, four. I don't think any more than that because they do cost money. In terms of money, actually, um, profit is non-existent. Um, 
<laughs> not really. We can get loans if we need to, by the way. Loans are available. However, obviously, you will pay interest on them. So eventually, it's just going to go down. Uh, you, well, you are going to go down. In terms of prices, you can see it does fluctuate based on how much we've used it. So if we go for... Um, if we go for... We've got a heater. We haven't got light. Um, where is it? Satnav servo sensors. Um, let me just choose next research project. Uh, I need to know... Looks like sunroof's been invented by someone and keyless entry and auto steer headlights. Wow, there's loads of stuff here. Um, right, just pause it for a moment. Uh, what I was looking for? Stereo. Um, so the stereo is not here. Fine. I guess it's not. I'm guessing it's not a part that's on here. Oh, it's aerial. Being aerial. So the aerial. If we look at the part, the the prices for aerial. Yeah, you can see it's sort of uh, not really care. nobody cares and it does start to go up here because that's when I started to use it. Anyway, so um, we now have the ability to put in our voice recognition suite. And we also need a chip now which is going to be brought in. But there's only satnav left. So where do we get satnav from? It is going to be in research and it's going to be in technologies. It's not in entertainment, uh, not in performance, convenience, satnav. Yeah, it's going to, I was going to say, it's going to be there, surely. So it's going to take a little while to get that, but then it means we've got all of those electronics in there. I think that's all of the electronics we can put in, in the, this section. And that, I believe, satnav will give us a very nice boost. Oh, look at the chips on there. <laughs> Obviously, you've massively exaggerated. I don't know what card that comes from, but uh, hey ho. Uh, and then we'll go for satnav and you can see the, the loads of people start going for the electric windows um so what we need to think about now is building a production line um so there's electric windows now we need to start thinking about a production line that is very modular has a lot of stuff broken down where we can add different things in the car if we don't have that then even if we have the technology, we can't put it in the car, which is, you know, worse than not having it, really. Because it's just staring you in the face, wanting to be in a vehicle. Anyway, um, so, generic model, just like a dog when it wants to go for a walk in a long way in the park. Uh, model SUV Plus is 20% premium, and you can see now we've got the voice recognition. Pretty cool. Uh, 679, that's a nice premium. That's a very, very nice premium on that. And hopefully that will give us some profit because we're just hovering above a mil. <laughs> profit says minus. Over 24 hours, we lost loads of money apparently. But let's just see. Oh, there we go. There's the Model C Plus again with our voice recognition in there. So that's going out the door. Um, we can't upgrade that with extra robots because we don't have extra robots. But we do have the other stuff. That painting is also slow. What we'll do... We will, when we build our next production line, we'll split it down so that we have, we'll have it so, there's our sat nav, so hang on, let me just research, let's go to processes, we're going to go for things like all of these specializations, not accessories actually, because that just is all manufacturing, we're not going to deal with manufacturing yet, but we will be doing that at some point, body specialization, we need all these to break stuff down. So, um... We'll do it so we'll make a, we'll have a we're not going to go for the two second cars I mentioned last episode, which I know some people said oh it's not a two second car yeah I, I know I clarified exactly what I meant I believe anyway um the whole point is we're going to make a car um which has a chain that the car will never spend more than ten seconds at each individual area or something like that anyway uh, let's go for this upgrades bang sat nav now that should. Be a massive premium. Satnav apparently is the radar dish from SETI. <laughs> like that massive dish or that massive array. The radio telescopes, I believe they are. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I can't imagine that going on the top of your car. <laughs> it looked like the car from Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Actually, he has solar panels on his, doesn't he? Right, anyway, so, max speed, and you can see cars are still sitting in the, in the showroom, and they are starting to sell. Well, it takes a while to sell them, but they're not instantaneous, let's go for. I'm going for all of these specializations here. The problem is that there's certain things you can't do. So I've got this body specialization. Say, for example, I want to put in, I don't know, like, um, 
electric windows. Oh, you see, like, there's two cars now, so there's, that's quite common. Um, that is, it says new electric windows, which is fit windows. And fit windows is... It should be in body specialisation. Um, there's our another car, that's the SUV Plus, and um, sat-nav. Oh, look at the money on that. Excellent. Very rare and also very good. Excellent. I think we made the right decision going for the electronics because the electronics are very easy to fit. Um, right, so what I was saying, yes, in terms of slots, we'll drop it down. We'll go to fit body. We can see that we now have body frame, roofs, and doors, so it should be in fit windows, which is there. So if we have that research we'll be able to put in the windows. If we don't have that, we don't. We won't be able to put it in the fit doors, I don't think. Hang on, let's have a quick look again. So it is technologies. Um, keyless entry is, that's in fit door panels. Electric windows is in fit windows. But fit windows, yeah, fit, fit windows, you can see, is in the fit doors section there. So if we have this broken down so it fit doors, fit roof, fit body frame for this, we still won't be able to have that. We still won't be able to have that upgrade. So it needs to be either body frame, roof or doors that we're looking for. So it is technologies. Um, that's fit bricks. Emergency brake assist, lane departure warning system, that's fit door panels. Again, it's fit door panels. So breaking it down is not necessarily going to help us. We'll have to stage it. What we'll do, we'll make a line this episode that's broken down on the first tier. So body, specialization, chassis, engine, paint, and that should be us. Right? That'll be us. But the next time we do something, it's going to have to be the next tier up as well. So it's doors and stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be difficult this one. Especially with the money or the lack of funding. But hey ho. Right, so there's our engine specialization. We're going to come down to paint and then that should be everything sorted, I believe. So we can start to make our new line. So the line, again, will build Back over. I just find it easier to build back over. Do we want to place it elsewhere? Oh, there's a Model C Plus. You can see it's now got the sat-nav in there, so we'll just close that. We could buy another area and put it in, say, along here. Um, that might be the way forward. I don't like building in the centre because it's a bit annoying, although... Oh, we could. I think we could build it around here. So, but there's only two places to output a car. It's either there or there. And that one is too close to these other stuffs. And we're not going to build it that way. So, we'll put it on this side. So, in terms of our slots, we have to have an export, which we'll put there. We'll then have a quality check, which we'll go... Um, that's a five-minute job. So, like I say, we're trying to do it so that every job um, or every section doesn't... You don't spend more than ten seconds there. Fit electronics is a two minute job, no problem whatsoever. You can notice we're leaving gaps now. Then the accessories, which we can break it down, but we don't need to. Or do we? Mm, yes, I think we do need to break it down. But that is... We don't have that researched, so we can't do that just yet. Okay, I'll just max speed it then. We're still doing the research. I, I thought, obviously wrongly, that um, this up the top here... Oh, yeah, new slot fit home, but then the unlock that. Sorry, I slightly... But that's slightly wrong. Okay, so yeah, this does allow us uh, what we need to do. You can see that now the, the technology for here is getting researched by a lot of companies now, so Windows and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll, make, our, we'll make our line, and then we'll have, like... Um, We'll start researching this and just add it when we can. We'll just add it and add it and add it and just do whatever. Um, that's fit lights. We'll, we'll have automatic headlights. We'll try and get stuff that other people don't have. But the problem with that is, um, that we'll see shortly probably, is that when they become commonplace, people expect it of you. And then you get a negative on your car's price if you don't have it not good. So that should be everything done there as far as I can tell. Yes, it is. What we'll do then... 
We'll go for... We've got priorities. Well, I'm not going to bother. We could go for faster conveyor. We could go for faster resources, which I think might be useful. So we're going to go for that across the board because then that will increase the speed of everything. Let's just go down to our slots. I'm just going to be very careful on the money here. Now, remember, we're going backwards on this. And we can't fit aircon yet. That's a problem. I wanted to fit aircon. It's a full new slot you can see, aircon. Back to research. Technologies. Air conditioning it will be environmental. Surely, yes, it is. So environmental, we'll start researching that, and then we'll go for air conditioning. So it's a dashboard, uh, which is one minute, no problem. Then the air con, which is two minutes. I don't know the size of the air con, so I can't really place it. So I'll not, because otherwise it'll be more of a problem for me later on. I'll just wait until this is researched here. Money is still... Well, profit. We've got a bit of profit here. Um, That's not... Oh, good grief, look at that. It, uh, it looks worse than it is just because it's counting in the money we're spending, I believe. Oh, we're still technologies. We'll go for aircon. We've got a heater and things like that. We should have a lot of these added. Uh, that's fit roof, so we should, yeah, we should be fine. So... There's that. I'm guessing... I don't know what all this means. It doesn't explain what the lines are. When you make a sale? I have no idea. There's our aircon. And... We could go for pollen filters and stuff, because they're quite rare. No, let's go back to what I was doing, which is faster resource imports. Because up here doesn't really matter. Because of how close it is. But on this line, it probably is going to matter. So, electronics, yes. Dashboard, yes. Aircon. Hang on. Aircon. Yes. Windshield. Seats. Um, let me just double check this. So, it's dashboard. Aircon. Windshield. That says windscreen. Sorry, windscreen, yes. Seats, yes. Horn. Lights. That's how fit accessory is done. Engine is steering assembly. And we're going to leave a gap of two. Hang on. We'll leave a gap like that just for... Um, what would the term be? Um, messing it up expansion. <laughs> so if I... Mm, oh crap, we now got universal technology. Um, if if I mess something up, I know I can move things around. So, now expect something. What is now classed as universal technology? Um, technology is... Ah, electric windows are now classed as universal technology. So we're going to have to put electric windows in. Which is a problem because we haven't designed this line to do that. Oh well, well, we'll keep going. So, steering assembly, uh, yes, is in. Uh, wheel assembly, exhaust, uh, radiator, powertrain, two-minute job. Okay. Paint. Um, we haven't got polish paint work. Let's go for that. Let's research polish paint work. Technologies is... What would it be classed as? Keyless entry... Driver assistance, security, environmental, convenience, no. What the hell is it then? Is it in here? It must be in processors then. It is in processors. Polish paint work. There it is. So, polish paint work. Research. I'm fairly confident that polish paint work is only a one. It's, it's, it's only size one, like that. So, we'll not bother. Now, drying paint work. Um, drying finish, sorry. 14 minute job. But we will have the research, so hopefully we'll be able to fit it in. So, polish is going to go there. Uh, oh, we also haven't put the expansion gap in that I left there. Um, to be honest, I'm regretting that anyway because of how little space we have. I'm going to have to keep going. So, um, or do I delete these and move them? No, no, we'll keep them as is. So, dry, uh, polish paintwork will go here. Dry the finish. Paint finish. Dry undercoat. 
and then paint undercoat. And then the body is doors, roof, don't need much of a gap, and then body frame. And then that'll have to come round, and ah, this is where we start having some problems. Chassis assembly, fuel tank, uh, we'll go here, undercarriage, and then axles. That's technically all done, apart from that one little section that we'll get to shortly. Let's connect all these up then. Like that. Rival companies have researched more stuff. Yes, I am aware. So I'll come down. And then, once we're at the end, we realise that I might have messed something up. I really hope that isn't the case. Um, resource importers, there's enough around here to do whatever we want. There we go. Even some back here. I'm going to try not to utilize them though. I think I'm going to use these ones. Okay. Oh my good grief, I've just noticed our cash. <gasps> or rather, lack of it. Um, we'll delete that section because that's where we polish the paintwork. Good grief. Right, we might have to get a loan. Um, so we might as well start making a car. So we'll have this come down into there. That's all connected up, and then these will connect up. There we are, and then this one is possible. I was going to say it's not possible to build. Why is that? Oh god, look, I can't even fit the body here. <laughs> we don't have enough money to do that. That's very worrying. In fact, that's very very worrying. Okay. Anyway, um, I think these can connect up to that. And these ones are strange because... Ooh, pause, pause, pause. Have to pause it. If you get to zero money, you lose the game. I'm just going to accept the biggest loan possible because I, I don't have a choice, quite frankly. So... That's all of the stockpile connected. So, polished paintwork is in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let it crack on and build whatever it can. And at any line like this, if it gets to here, I'll simply connect it up and let, wait for this stuff to go out the door. But what we need to do, we need to go back over now and get all of the upgrades. Obviously, this is altering the timing, but I'm not really too bothered. So it's just going around, checking all the upgrades. There's extra robots, don't care for now. Going for anything to do with like heated seats, climate control, the lot. Which I don't think we've got many. I think it's just upgrades for now. Yeah, they're all just robots. That's where we're going to have that. That'll be painting speed, which we don't care about. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Remember, this is all set up for f the future. At the moment, it's um, it just is what it is. Um, and for some reason, we can't change. Why can't we not change the... That's fit axles. Can we not change? Oh, there we go. For some reason, when it's paused, you can't change the body style. I didn't change it. Um, this is just going to be a sedan, I think. I don't think we're going to go for an SUV. Don't let me go for an SUV. Um, so, that's getting produced. That's fine. Obviously, all the resources are streaming in. We'll max speed this here. And then, by the time this gets to here, we should have that polished. Yeah, oh, we, should, mm, we might have polished paintwork. We'll see. That's taking a little while to build. 20 seconds. Let's get a couple of extra robots in there. Obviously, the whole point in the game really is to... Um, work on the efficiency of the factory and things like that and it's it's a task you will never complete you'll never complete that task because there's always efficiencies to be made there's always a little bit you can change here and there and things like that uh, it looks like this car is going to get off the line before our paintwork polisher is done so i don't care i'm gonna let it crack on we need to get cars out the door um 
Sadly, a lot of car companies have had this problem historically where they wanted to do certain things, but in reality, they didn't have the money and the time and they need to get out the door before they went bankrupt. And actually, that's a bit of a false economy because they ship a subpar product and there you go. Then it doesn't sell. Um, that's got no route to stockpile. Now it does. So there's our sedan. If it gets to the end and we can sell it, then that's good for me. There's our polish paint work. It's in. So that's fine. Uh, let's go to technologies and we'll start researching. Um, it says sunroof, but that says fit roof. Yeah, we've got fit roof, I believe. So we'll go for that. This is universal technology. We're going to go back over, delete that section, go drop down from paint, polish paint work, and... Damn it, spin that around. So, there is, as you can see, our generic Model B. It's a sedan, and it's got a decent amount of stuff there. Look at that. Very, very nice indeed. So, it's going to be the plus model. It's the base. It's not, no, it's not the basic. It's the premium generic Model P. This is the premium line. So, we sh should still have a Model B. No, I don't know how it words them. Because this is technically also... This is a sedan... There's our fit sunroof. Um, let's go for windshield. Uh, automatic. Um, automatic windows. Uh, right, so where's our doors? Lights, horn, wheel, exhaust. Where will it be? It's in the body frame, surely. What did we just research? It was... Um, sunroof. Sunroof. So we should need fit roof. Um, fit roof. Upgrades sunroof there it is okay excellent um but you can see now we've got a problem look at that sunroof no sunroof no electric windows so we're actually getting minus 250 and 250 minus 500 generic units of currency for not having those things because they are now universal technology so we need to research them as fast as possible i'm also wondering what happens to these sedans will when this comes off the line will that now will that say rename me please i think it might you know or i'll just ship it there's our electric windows. Anything that's universal, I'm going to have to try and get. Oh, God, there's so much universal stuff here. Or it's, at least it's common. That went out the line. That went out the door. Hang on. Yeah, look, there's the generic Model P. It's the... Oh, that's just a slightly, a slightly different one. But yeah, look at that. This car here, this one is still going out the door. It has vehicle details, but... Can't really check them out. Hang on. In the basic car, yeah. So it's just a basic car, but it changed the name of it. I don't know what's up with that. Look at that polished paintwork. It's apparently a grand on top. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's a bit of an issue when it comes to the naming. I just don't understand it. It seems a bit dodgy. Anyway, uh, power steering. Yes. Uh, so what did we research previously? It was um, air conditioning is in sunroof and electric windows. So sunroof we've already put in. Electric windows will be in fit doors, which is you can't. I can't put them in. Damn it. So what I'm going to have to do is either redo this line. Either redo this line so that we have. Um, it'll have to be from body specialization. We'll have to go for door specialization which is door panels, windows, and wing mirrors, or not have it and just accept that we're going to have negatives. That's a bit problematic, that. I'm not entirely convinced there's balance there, because that means that... I don't know how the game... Um, I don't know how the game simulates the technologies that it's researched. I don't know how it, I don't know how it picks it. But I'm assuming that it doesn't have to simulate building the line itself it just randomly selects pieces that again assumption on my part because if it did have to build the line there's no way i can see it building a line that would have to then focus solely on getting like all of this body specialization then the doors and then having to build all of these bits just for one technology such as the uh such as the electric windows it would go it would do what i do what i did earlier which is get the basic stuff which requires one thing and get quick quick book Unless it is actually really advanced and has an economic war model and knows how to beat me because I don't have that on the line, but I very much doubt it. Either way, we're leaving it there. We're not yet bankrupt, but uh, we can see the iceberg coming. Either way, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.